Hello, dear students. Uh, I'm sorry I was unable to come to this uh, smart board because of uh, noise. A lot of noise is going on next to my building. So I came here. I hope you guys are able to see me. Okay, so we are here live. Today I am about to tell you ki what to write there in the short notes of machining and machine tool. So, undoubtedly, you should start with milling. In milling, you have different types of milling operations like you have slab milling. So, in case of slab milling, you need to remember this formula and you should write this formula of compulsory approach that is square root of a small d into capital D minus small d. Then, my dear students, in case of Face milling, there will be two cases one for symmetric face milling, which is LC is equal to 1 by 2 into you know d square minus. See what happens actually in case of symmetric face milling. You will have this as a milling cutter okay and this as the workpiece so what happens as you are machining this workpiece with the help of this milling cutter which is a face milling cutter so if you look at the top view in the top view this workpiece is going to look like this and this will be your milling cutter so whatever just a minute give me give me a minute this is like diameter of the milling cutter this is like your work so we say it is symmetric if this center coincides exactly with the center line of the workpiece yes and this is what we call as the compulsory approach because when this point will reach here or this point of the workpiece will reach here then only the whole width will start getting machined so this value is what we find and that you write like you see easily it can be found right here this gap lc is what actually equal to this and this much is equal to like whole diameter ka half minus this much and this much is going to be you see this diameter and this width so using pythagoras theorem you can find this distance is going to be square root of d by 2 whole square minus w by 2 whole square where this is the width of the cut yes so this distance becomes w by 2 so d by 2 whole square minus w by 2 whole square and then you subtract it by d by 2 and this value is going to be what your compulsory approach yes so that is how we write it symmetry just a minute hold on let me remove it so this is going to be equal to lc is equal to a square root sorry 1 by 2 multiplied by d minus square root of d square minus w square then we have the another milling which is like asymmetric one asymmetric face milling lc here we write half into d minus square root of 
d square minus w i square where we say that ki w i is the imaginary width okay w i is what <laughs> imaginary width and my dear students this w i is written as original width plus two times offset it is i mean asymmetric why the work piece has been offsetted then in the third case you will have this end milling in case of end milling also you have to remember this compulsory approach will become lc is equal to d upon 2 that is the cutter diameter upon the upon 2 yes now listen carefully next thing that you should or you must write is about you know milling time this milling time you can write as tm is equal to workpiece length plus approach plus over travel plus compulsory approach divided by feet per tooth upon number of teeth upon the speed fzn where f is equal to fzn this f is the table feed in millimeter per minute yes and la lo lc are the approach over travel compulsory approach and for different types of milling operation i have given you the compulsory approach formula as well the students f is feed per tooth z is a speed in rpm and n is the sorry z is the number of teeth and n is the speed in rpm once you find this then my dear students in case of milling you must also remember maximum chip thickness formula this maximum chip thickness formula is t max is equal to Two f upon n z multiplied by a small square root of a small d upon capital D, where a small d is the depth of cut and capital D is the diameter. Thereafter, my dear, you can find the average chip thickness. How to find this average chip thickness? This is like t average is equal to f upon n z multiplied by square root of a small d upon capital D. Once my dear students milling is over, then you must have the short notes for your broaching operation. In case of broaching, you must remember broach length first thing. This broach length will be equal to number of roughing teeth multiplied by pitch of roughing teeth plus number of semi finishing teeth. multiplied by pitch of semi finishing teeth plus number of finishing teeth multiplied by pitch of finishing teeth then my dear you should remember if for keyway cutting for keyway cutting with a brooch number of teeth required on the brooch this you must remember by the formula that is equal to outer diameter minus inner diameter divided by two times rise per tooth yes once you have completed this formula then my dear students for keyway cutting you should remember if broach is cutting the keyway then keyway depth will be equal to depth of the keyway will be equal to zr hr plus zs hs yes once this part is over broaching me so you should write the broaching time broaching time will be equal to thickness of the hole plus length of the broach divided by velocity with which the broach is going inside okay so this is enough for broaching then once broaching is over you must have these things in drilling in drilling what things you have to you need to remember is what are those things that you need to remember in case of drilling is the first thing the uncut thickness in case of drilling is given by feed upon 2 multiplied by sine beta where beta is the half 
point angle what's that part is over you must remember width of cut in case of drilling w is given by f upon sorry just a minute t upon 2 sin beta yes then my dear once this part is over you should remember the drilling time drilling time is equal to length of the hole to be cut plus approach plus over travel plus compulsory approach divided by f into n and you should remember this compulsory approach is also called as cone height of the drill that is calculated by using this formula d upon 2 tan beta which can also be written as d upon 2 cot beta yes guys once this is over then you can go for almost everything is known in drilling these are the formulas which are going to help you a lot in case of drilling then my dear thereafter you should know something called as turning time this you should remember simply l upon fn then you should remember the ratio between successive spindle speed this is quite important for upcoming exams and which is like in geometric progression as given by n max upon n min whole to the power 1 upon n minus 1 is equal to also d max upon d min whole to the power 1 by n minus 1 where n max and n min and d max and d min you all know you should only know the small n value that is the number of spindle speeds yes then my dear students you must have the next thing that you should remember and that is in grinding what you should remember in grinding is iso designation what is this iso designation this is represented like this this whole thing you must remember 35 like a 24 r 9 v 20 this is and this one these are the manufacturers private marking these are the manufacturers private marking this has nothing to do with the grinding wheel this is private marking which he can use for different different purposes as decided by him by the manufacturer what the grinding wheel has to do is all with these terms like a this tells you types of abrasive this number tells you like about grit number here this tells you about you the grade of the wheel this thing tells you about the grade of the wheel here this tells you about the structure of the wheel where the structure is open or closed and this tells you about the type of bond so one by one i will write all these things this is telling you about all about type of abrasive what are the types of abrasive aluminium oxide which is represented by a silicon carbide which is represented by c cbn a small c capital B, capital N, cubic boron nitride, this is represented by B, then comes diamond, this is represented by D. Thereafter, my dear, here this is what telling you about the grit number. It can be written like 10 to 24, 30 to 60, 70 to 180, 220 to 600. 
if the number grid number is less that means the grid is coarse if it is like bit larger it is like medium this one is like fine grain and this is like very fine grain so that will be used for very fine grain for super finishing fine grain for finishing medium grains for you know medium finish and coarse grain will be used for roughing operation then here comes my dear this term this term tells you about the hardness or this is also called as grade of the wheel how strongly these are bonded the grids are bonded into the abrasive wheel is represented by hardness or grade suppose here they have written like a to h anything can be written a to h a b c d e f g h i to like p and q to z if it is written like a to h then this wheel forms in the category of soft wheel if written like i to p it, it falls like in a category of medium wheel and this falls in the category of hard wheel means there the abrasives are bonded together so strongly my dear students okay then here it comes i'll, I'll also give you the trick ke kaise yaad karenge is puri cheez ko here this this term represents structure of the wheel whether the space between the grid is a small or whether the space between the wheel is large if it is large space open wheel if it is a small space between the abrasive grids that is dense wheel so if they are writing like 1 to 7 this is dense wheel less a space if it is lighting like it like 8 to 16 means this is like open wheel then my dear here comes the next part that is the type of bond type of bond it is like if it is written like v means it is vitrified bond if it is written like m it is metallic bond if it is like written like e this is shellac bond if it is written like here or r that means rubber bond if it is written like here b that means it is resinoid bond now how to remember this sequence ye kaise yaad rakhoge to usko yaad rakhna ab ki gate hamara सबसे बढ़िया और इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी यू कैन रिमेंबर ऑल गाइस हैव सुपर ब्रेन इफ यू वांट टू ऐड सम टिस यू कैन राइट गर्ल्स ऑल द गर्ल्स have super brain yes so what is my motive here is to tell you that all guys have super brain means a for abrasive g for grain size h for hardness s for structure and b for bond are you getting me or you can remember in hindi apki get hamara sabse badhiya matlab a for abrasive g for grain size h for hardness s for structure b for bond and you know this will be always in alternate order you see starting with a number then letter number letter number letter number got it so these are the things that should be there in the short notes for the machine tool as per the gate syllabus for ie syllabus we have to study many extra things right so that you need not to remember you just need to remember this much grinding drilling turning uh, machining times you should remember and milling whatever the different compulsory approaches are there that i have already taught you like for different for machining i told you these are the things that you should remember for milling the time this should be remember maximum thickness should be remember then for this broaching these formula should be remember for drilling these formula should be remember turning time and the uh, successive spindle ratio should be remember and thus uh, grinding iso designation these are the very important things that must be remembered so guys see you tomorrow i am ending this session here right now i'm going to start a special class on an academy uh, so if you want to join me there you can always join me there right now 9 o'clock on a special class is going to stream come and let's enjoy there in the special class where i'm going to solve 